Now let's turn our attention to Australia. Last week it was hit by a cyclone and now it is suffering record floods, power outages and food and water shortages. Roads and railways are inundated. One of their biggest airports is completely underwater. Thousands of people have been affected in northeastern Australia. Entire cities have been cut off. And as if all of this was not enough, now crocodiles are swimming through the streets. Our next report tells you more. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. That is, in fact, a crocodile lurking in the waters. It's shocking even for Australia where these visuals are coming from. But today, this has been a relatively common occurrence in the land down under. Crocs were found swimming in the streets thanks to the floods. Last week, Cyclone Jasper wreaked havoc in Australia. And now, this is what its northeastern region looks like. It's the worst hit. Some areas have received a year's worth of rainfall within days, leading to record-breaking floods. Overnight we have seen record-breaking rain across far north Queensland, including flash flooding. Far north Queenslanders know how to deal with natural disasters, but this one is, uh, this level of rainfall is next level. They have cut off entire towns, affecting over 14,000 households, killing at least two residents leaving thousands without access to power, food and drinking water. Roads and railways are completely inundated. Planes are submerged at a major airport. I could not tell you I've seen it this bad before here. No, I don't think so. It's a little bit crazy, like we didn't expect it something like this. Um, I never see floating like this before and it's the first time to so a little bit impressive for me. And yeah, it's getting like, real, more or less. So far, about 300 people have been evacuated. The long list includes this crocodile as well. He was pulled out of the floodwaters. But as for thousands of others, it will be harder than expected. The heavy rain has thwarted evacuation attempts, especially for people in the low-lying communities, many of whom are clinging to roofs to save their lives. Obviously, uh, some of those challenges around water with people on roofs, uh, people in small cut-off communities, the roads that are cut, and our ability to access those presents a real danger and a real challenge, not only to us as responders trying to get there, but the people themselves, importantly, in those situations. Now the government has called on the military to rescue desperate communities. Boats and military helicopters have been deployed. We deployed literally every boat we could get our hands on in cans to evacuate those who couldn't safely evacuate themselves. And more help is on the way. The estimated toll of the disaster is $670 million. Especially as Australia has been hit over and over in recent years, flooding has become more frequent. Just this year, the nation was plagued by a series of disasters, including severe drought, bushfire, record floods and mass bleaching events. According to experts, the worst of the current floods is not here yet. While the rain is expected to ease tomorrow onwards, the rivers may start rising. As they swell further, the disaster will exacerbate and the government knows evacuation must pick up pace. For Australia, this is a race against time.